the Singapore economy as a whole is on a stable and steady growth trajectory. GDP growth came in at 2% in 2016. Barring downside risks, we expect growth in 2017 to be similar to 2016. Mr. Charles Chong observed that the growth rates have, become, have come down in recent years. As the Committee on the Future Economy has highlighted, we have to adapt to a lower but more sustainable rate of 2 to 3 per cent growth as our economy matures and undergoes structural adjustment. Mr. Charles Chong also asked about the outlook in the short and medium term. Let me try and summarize the key developments and trends. First, our restructuring efforts are gaining traction. We have narrowed our productivity gap with other advanced economies, although there is scope for improvement, especially for domestically oriented sectors. Overall, labour productivity grew at a modest pace of 1.5% per annum from 2010 to 2016. Over this period, the productivity of outward-oriented sectors such as manufacturing, wholesale trade and finance and insurance have increased by 2.7% per annum, whilst that of the domestically-oriented sectors such as construction, retail and food and beverage grew by 0.7% per annum. As our restructuring efforts gather momentum, we can expect to see steady progress in achieving our productivity targets. Second, our labour market remains resilient. Wage growth has been comparable to or higher than many advanced economies, in part due to the tightness in our labour market. Between 2010 and 2016, real median gross monthly income of full-time employed residents grew by 3.1% per annum. At the same time, the annual average resident unemployment rate has remained low at 3% or lower since 2011, while the resident labour force participation rate has remained high. So despite the difficult conditions that we are facing, our labour market is holding up. Third, despite an uncertain environment, we remain globally competitive. The World Economic Forum's Global Competitiveness Report 2016 to 2017 ranks Singapore as the second most competitive economy in the world. We continue to attract a steady pipeline of investments, <coughs> thus creating new job opportunities. Over the past five years, EDB's investment commitments have brought in an average of 12 billion Singapore dollars in fixed asset investment and 7 billion Singapore dollars in total business expenditure annually. These investments are expected to create an average of 20,000 jobs annually when the projects are fully implemented. <coughs> 